four strategies to help you amp up your real estate career no matter where you're at in the business. Hi, I'm Krista Maysher. I've been in the top 1% of realtors for 17 years while I was practicing selling over 2,300 homes. I averaged at 135 homes a year. I have been in every single market and these strategies work. And the reason being is because they help differentiate you amongst the crowd. All right, so step number one, let's talk about amplifying your property listings, right? So that you can attract a larger pool of buyers. And also you can also attract more sellers by marketing different than everyone else. It is a digital age right now, so it's absolutely crucial that you develop a really strong online portfolio because you want to reach not just people that know you already, but a much broader audience. So when you promote your listings effectively online, utilizing listing platforms, you can attract more buyers. So what do I mean by this? I mean, you need to pay to get attention. You need to, you need to pay to play. You need to put a marketing R behind your listing so you reach the masses. Ask yourself this question. In 2023, are people really wanting to waste their time looking at open houses? The answer most likely is no. I know it's super fun to do at times, but real serious buyers, they are all over the internet looking for properties. So when you pay for attention for you and for your listings, you're gonna see that your business can absolutely explode within six to 12 months. Here's what I see people do all the time. They will market, but then they don't follow up. You have got to follow up. Nurturing is absolutely key and it does take a little bit of time because people don't just wake up all of a sudden one day and say, I'm gonna buy a house today, right? There's a process that has to happen. So you want to be able to nurture buyers and sellers. You also want to tag them and put appropriate information in front of them so your marketing speaks directly to them. The more your marketing speaks directly to somebody, the more you will convert. For instance, if you are creating seller content, you want to tag them as a seller so sellers will be more likely to be interested in it. If you're having information about buyers, you're going to want to tag people as a buyer and put buyer information in front of that. So you wanna make sure that you are nurturing, nurturing, nurturing. When you do this correctly, you don't even have to speak directly to people all the time. Your marketing and your um, campaigns will speak directly to them. Now, this is important that you have a CRM, a customer relationships manager. What this does is this actually helps you talk to your leads. So for example, our CRM, we have funnels, landing pages, we create lead magnets. It's a customer relationship management system. It also has a full, uh, something for your whole sales team where it tracks their calls. I mean, it does anything and everything that you can imagine. Sends out automatic emails, creates email campaigns, there's workflows. This makes it so much easier for us to be able to keep talking to our clients. We also have artificial intelligence built into our CRM and you can create workflows where it looks like somebody's talking to somebody in your voice, but really it's just artificial intelligence. So you can be at 17 places at one time, <laughs> which is really kind of cool, right? Um, it's sort of like winning before you arrive, views while you snooze, kind of sort of the video content. Your CRM can work the exact same way. But one thing that's really, really crucial is you never want to take yourself out of the equation. Even though you have a great CRM, even though you create, you create great content, you still have to put yourself in there, pick up the phone, call people, call people back and stuff like that. And by the way, if you don't have a CRM, guess what? We have a 30 day free trial to the measure method, which is very, very simple and easy to start using and will be very quick. And we have great instructional trainings and an awesome onboarding process. And again, 30 days, oh, free, you're welcome. The link is in the description. The third, one of the most important is community marketing videos. Remember, you want to start making content that does nothing but hold value for your audience. Serve, not sell. So what do I mean by this? Well, you can't just base your content on how many homes you've sold or listed because people want to know more. What you want to do is you want to provide content that actually is valuable for them and for answering questions that people are actually looking for when they go online. Everybody's curious about what's happening in the real estate market. You wanna start telling people about what's happening in the market. Think about this as you're watching this, right? Have you ever seen a sign in your neighborhood that you live in that you go and pull the flyer or you go on the MLS to see what it's, the house is listed for? Why do you do this? Because you care about what it's listed at, okay? Did you know that one of the very best, um, the most watched shows um, on television are reality TV shows and they also are real estate reality TV shows because people love real estate. So anytime anybody thinks about real estate, they need to be thinking about you. How do you do that? By creating content that speaks directly to somebody that solves problems, answers their questions, um, gets them closer to where they wanna go. Your job is to become a marketer who uses education and content to bridge the gap from where people are to where they want to go. Serve, don't sell. 
Uh, marketing is attraction, and when you use educational-based content that's helping buyers and sellers and talking to them about anything and everything community-related and real estate-related, you are going to see people absolutely love your content. The last topic, number four, it is imperative that we talk about this because this is going to actually strengthen your visibility online. Like I said before, the internet is the power at, right at our fingertips. It is actually crucial that we utilize digital marketing to establish a very robust presence and it's going to be a game changer for your business. People are scrolling through social media for hours and hours. Think about this. When you go out to eat, it's pretty sad. What's everybody doing? They're on their phones, right? So ask yourself this question. When somebody is scrolling at night, are they seeing you or are they uh, clicking on your competitor? Are they seeing you or are they going to Zillow, right? You want to show up on the platforms where people are. And again, you do this by putting a marketing dollar behind it and paying for some attention. YouTube is amazing also, right? You can do that organically. But what I always say, if you want faster results, you don't just want to do organic, you wanna pay for more attention. So make sure that you are uploading all of your listings, all of your market updates on as many platforms as possible um, so that you get seen everywhere. This is gonna keep you on top of people's mind. And this is one of the biggest secrets that I can tell every single agent, whether you're brand new in the business or you're experienced and you wanna do more, to start utilizing video content and creating educational videos as often as possible. And you wanna post them on the social media platforms where your people are hanging out. So you might be thinking, well, Krista, there's too many platforms, I don't know how to do them all. Here's what I always tell people, pick one. I say, learn it, implement it, master it, repeat it, learn, implement, master, repeat. Learn that platform, master that platform, and then continue to, to do so. In fact, I just used Facebook ads for years and years and years. I made millions of dollars as a real estate agent just utilizing Facebook. Now that I've mastered that and I have more of a team and I have more help, you can see right now we're on YouTube, we're on, we're on TikTok, we're on Reels, but I didn't start out that way. So pick one, master it, move on, move on, and then keep on adding some, but make sure you don't stop doing the one prior. So remember, the idea is for you to be constant top of mind because you're consistently, what's that word again? Consistently posting valuable content on all of the platforms. All right, so those are four things that you can start doing. I hope that absolutely helped you because these are very, very powerful strategies that can help take your career, whether it's new or old, to amplifying levels you never ever can imagine. From amplifying your property listings to communicating and strengthening your online brand presence to also being on as many platforms as possible once you master each one. So remember, success in real estate is all about adapting to the evolving market and leveraging technology. Don't be afraid of it. Use it to your advantage, right? It's not gonna harm you, it's there to help you. So start implementing your needs today and watch your real estate business just go crazy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't forget to push the like button and subscribe to our channel if you wouldn't mind if it was helpful so you get notified when we have more cool content. And if you let me know in the comments exactly what you are going to start doing and what else you would like to me to start covering, let me know and I'll create some video content for you. So if you wanna learn more, do me a favor and click the link in my description and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.